we can just focus on one side for now. Get that dropped. Oh, side note, while we're peeling back this cabbage tray, why don't you take a look inside? How was that for? Fingers crossed that steel's come because it'll be Wednesday tomorrow, so that'll be middle of the week. Morning. So it is the next day. I don't even want to check what date it is, I can't remember. But it's um it's a bit of a wet one today, so our plan for now is this side is propped and we're still waiting for the steels, so we're gonna try and get this side dropped, because obviously this side wants dropping too, but with um with us needing to prop this side too, we'd rather wait till the steels are in. That way we can get them in place and ready. So hopefully they'll be here soon, it's Tuesday, and they said they're going to be here early this week. So, yeah, there's two st two steels on both sides, so we can just focus on one side for now. Get that dropped, and uh, if it dries up, we can get uh, this part finished. That uh, done a nice job, nice little brick match. And this is last job. Yeah, this is this, this is last job. This is yeah. the tradesman's entrance at the moment, so we don't want to be using the front door. And, it's, and also, it's good ventilation when we start making it dusty again. But yeah, that's the plan for now. Um, we'll keep you updated if the steel arrives or not, and um, we'll take a crack at this. We'll set you up. In, we'll set you up somewhere and catch you there. Right, a few more little issues we've found. Well, not issues we've found, we've already knew about these, but now we've uncovered them, we see just how bad they are. First, we'll start with the steel, which we've undermined that, but that did have 150 seating. Then, when you get to this end, there you go, that is 65mm. It's not even sat on 65mm, it's probably sat on 55 60mm. But when we took the plaster off, this piece of brick is sat on that block where it's by 25-30mm. The rest of it, it was bedded onto the plaster line. I just, because there's the original block work, I just knocked the plaster off. So that piece of brick that that steel sat on was mainly sat on plaster. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. My little magic. I'll set, so here's Alex with his magic lintel. Well, I took my seat enough expecting it to drop, and it's still there. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty tight in, but you can see now, there you go, there's the seating it was. It was sat on that, basically. So, obviously the seating, and the seating it was sat on wasn't tied in at all. No. Come well, you're stable. That one there, here it is, here's the seating. There you go, that's what it was sat on. Little up broken bit of a brick while chopping it three quarter. I'm willing to put my neck on the line and say I don't think this past building makes when this extension was done. And even more, I'm willing to guess that building inspector never even visited this show when this building was done. It would have been condemned. What gives you that impression? <laughs> Like we've gone through it all, no wall plate, blah blah blah. So yeah, so like I like I said before, you can see where it splits here. So we're gonna knock this bit down and leave this bit up until the steel comes. I hope it doesn't rain down poly balls on us. Yeah. It's gonna be a cavity tray up there. Well, there's a cavity tray over each one. So that'll be a, that'll be the barrier for the. 
but Paul did say he's probably going to get it re-injected because he's lost that many polystyrene balls out of the cavity. Yeah. So. Could he not get in- injected with the um, the actual like insulation stuff and not just the poly balls? He doesn't like that stuff because that can get wet. That it actually soaks water up that white stuff. Whereas the poly balls are obviously polystyrene is waterproof, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a nightmare to clear up. Luckily for us, Paul did for us on Sunday. Do you want the sledgehammer to knock those nibs off? Yeah, it can do. I don't think they're tied in. I think they're just held in by plastic. What do you go for? Got that brush out. Just don't do it with me. No, don't want to break Paul's brush. Oh, it was tied in. Oh. Not very, not very stronger then. No, it's, it's, it's tied in. It's weak, aren't it? Mm. So that'll come off flat. It's basically held together by plaster because it's not dot and dabbed. It's proper plaster. Yeah. The plaster's basically held back together. Back to it. It, it kind of looks like we've done nothing now. It does. It does have done nothing. <laughs> but uh, we promise we have. 
One side is gone. That's the easy bit, it's tidying the friggin' balls up. Yeah, poly balls again. There you go, have a little look. Just. Yeah, so we've. Dad, Dad's been picking them up with a hoover and everything, and. Yeah, so. No idea how these have stayed up the way they have, but we're not going to argue. We're going to. We're going to get these drilled on. Spread that across, drill it on, so that way they, uh, they're they going to stay there then. And then, obviously this steel will be coming out, we'll do the same over there. Assuming nothing falls. Knock on uh, wood. So yeah, I'll, I'll go grab Dad some screws and then we'll get this screwed up. Still no steel. No, still no steel. So hopefully the weather holds off just enough for us to get started on some brickwork this afternoon. See if we can get that finished if the weather's nice enough. Yeah. If not, we'll just have to find something else. Anyway. Out, yeah. That's held in. They're not actually loose. They're quite tight and nimble. Better, just in case. Better be safe than sorry, isn't it? Yeah. 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 We'll do that on the rest of them then. I'll throw you in time lapse for the rest. Side note: While well, we're peeling back this cabbage tray, why don't you take a look inside? How was that for? The tray's a bit pointless below the roof line. Cabbage tree needs to be able to roof. Yeah. Just look out. They're not even original doors. The cabbage tree is a bit of a pointless exercise putting them in. This makes things a bit more of a faff for us. Mm-hmm. Put them in your walking room and you hold it up for me and I'll hoover these poly balls out for you. Yeah. 
pressure cook that helps. Well, that got that out. That that was an absolute ridiculous meal we made of that thing. Yeah. We completely and utterly cocked that up because we just blitzed this wall down, got rid of it, made a mess obviously, and then that thing's just been hanging on a steel on a acro. And then if we'd left the wall there we could have lowered it down onto the wall, knocked a bit of wall down, used the wall to lower it down. So we just struggled and then when we did actually take the weight of it, um, it's not very heavy. <laughs> so um, that'll be a little bit of a comedy sketch because we feel a bit foolish now. But uh, yeah, I'll help you with that now, mate. Yeah, I'll help you with that. You just need to get up here. Yeah, so it's out, the back's out. We've, we've, that's half a day, that's cost us really at least it's right. out of a day when we're not really doing an awful lot besides the brickwork. Mm. At least we're not doing this while trying to get the steels in the same yeah. day. Just made a right meal of it. Yeah. So we've we'll just decided to get off a mixing and get outside because it still hasn't rained. Forecast rain all day today. It's not rained once. So if, we, if that had been the case, we'd known that this morning, we'd just got straight on the brickwork and left this. But um, we're getting closer and closer to being ready for the steel. Zzz, steels. So that we just need to take one more off that pillar there. Let's just take one more off that, and we've got all the all the block work is staying in beautifully for, at the moment, not budging. And then we put our strip on those three. They're not going anywhere. And then this one's got this cavity tray nailed to the joists when they put installed it. So they put an absolutely pointless cavity tray in there because the cavity strain needs to go above the roof, above the lead flashing, not down there. So if there's no flashing above that uh, cavity tray, but it comes down to this one, hits this one and just exits into the into the room. So there you go. So we're gonna make tidy up a little bit and then spend the last bit of the afternoon probably get another 10 quarters on that brickwork outside. Quarter to two now, so we need to push on. So we'll see you in a bit.
It's not been the most fun day, but it's been a necessary day. So, obviously, Dad's just joined up in there, but I thought I'd show in here again, so I'm doing so again. We got one side down, got the steel out, got this whole part set up. This part is ready for padstone block and then steel sitting in, in there. Um, this part's going to be coming out once we get it propped up eventually. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, while Dad's been bricklaying, I got the last cavity filled out, uh, filled out, emptied out. Just got a few nibs that um, I need to get once this door's taken out, but we've made we've made little little progress steps that don't seem like a lot now, but we'll notice them later. It's easier taking this wall down now than with two big steels sat in the way. So that's the that's the day. Tomorrow, I think it might just be the same plan. Tomorrow, get this knocked down, get um, get more brickwork done. Fingers crossed that steel's come because it'll be Wednesday tomorrow, so that'll be middle of the week. The sooner the steel's arrived, the better, because that's one. I think once the steels are in, and that that door's blocked up, that's all the inside work done. All that's left to do then is. In fact, there's really not a lot left. Really, we've got this to knock out, steels to go in, and that door to block and brick up. Really, that's about it. All right, hurry up, JM. <laughs> we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Well, we'll be back here same time, making more mess.